Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, Silver Stackers. Hello, Coin Roll Hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Pennyhaven, and first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. All right, welcome to this, my list of the five ways you are losing money every day. I've mentioned before that my father is a coin collector, and from the time that I was very young, me and my siblings, he instilled in us, if there is a penny before 1982, save that. That's worth more than a penny. That's copper. So we were always tossing these pennies in a five-gallon jug, things like that. And also, he would pull any silver out of circulation that he found. He had a nice collection, like half dollars and things like that. So it was instilled in me very early on that money can have value above its face and to always look for that. And then whenever I was in uh, college, I was a delivery driver, mostly pizza, but uh, you know other things as well. But one time, this guy said he didn't have money for a tip, but I do have this. And he handed me this 1944 Walking Liberty half dollar. I was thrilled. It, it reignited in me that passion of finding value in money above its face value. So also like dollar bill, five dollar bill with a bright green back, I would always grab those. You know, this is the actual coin. That's why I've got it in here. It's special to me. I've had that like 20 years now. So stay tuned and I'm going to tell you the five ways that you can make sure you don't lose money every day. So number five on my list, and this is very important, this is the root of the issue today, is the modern attitude towards money. Everything is going to digital and you press your phone against something or you, you don't even have to insert your credit card anymore, just get it near it and you'll pay. If you're not paying in cash, you have no opportunity to see these um, extra valuable coins and bills. So that's the first thing I suggest is... I understand you're going to have a lot of things on auto pay. You're going to swipe for a lot of stuff. But every payday, if you just take out a certain amount of money and say you're going to use it for all small transactions, like you buy a cup of coffee, you buy a candy bar, you buy a pack of gum, use it for that. And so you're going to get a lot of change coming back in. A lot of money is going to go in and out of your hands that way. Set an amount that you can live with, that you can just have on hand, and you'll start seeing things. I promise you. All right. On to number four. So number four on my list, I'm probably going to get some comments about how this isn't really worth it. But my number four is separate your pennies. Like my father always said, uh, a, a penny in its copper weight, 81 and before, part of 82, but that's a different story. Just 81 and before, all copper, they're worth like 2.2 pennies. You're like, ah, that's just so little, so small, but it really does add up. You start putting them aside. I think copper is like two and a quarter a pound right now. You can't melt them legally, but they're saying that someday that might happen. Anyway, not the point. There's also errors you can look for. Uh, wheat cents are always going to be more valuable. Set those aside. You know, I know it sounds like a small thing. It does add up. But if someone said, hey, that $100 bill could be worth 200 <laughs> you'd cash it in for 200 wouldn't you? Every penny is worth like 2.2. Don't throw your money away. On to number three. All right, so number three is not checking your paper money. There are many things that it's not going to take you a lot of time. You don't have to sit down and, and go over it with a, a jeweler's loop or anything. There are things that you can see right away as soon as you look at a bill. Like I said before, uh, if it's bright green ink on the back, that's a good indication that it's old. Check that out. It might be worth more than you think. Another thing, star notes. You can see the star at the end of the serial number right here. Star notes are made when uh, when bills are turned in for being damaged and they, they get destroyed. They, they uh, issue the same amount of money that has been destroyed in star notes. It's like a reissue within the same year. So star notes have value. This is a 1950 star note, not in great shape, but worth 15 bucks easy. And also uh, look at the serial numbers. If you find one that has like five zeros in the front, that's a low number, and that is desirable. If you uh, if you find a cool number, and then you happen to get it out of an ATM, and they're sequential, if you find a low sequential, that's worth even more. Or you just find cool numbers like eight one 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 eight, fantastic, worth money. People will buy these things. You can sell them on eBay. Uh, 
uh, birthday notes will have like 8 24 1988 at the end that's super desirable if you find that person who has that birthday all right on to number two okay so number two is not knowing current trends like there's a great example right now there are a number of quarters being minted out of West Point currently. So on the front, they'll say 2019 W. They were minted in West Point. And these are super desirable right now. People are trying to collect these. These are changing hands. People are selling them. People are getting good money for these. So keep an eye out for new quarters. If you see a shiny new quarter, look for that W. You can absolutely uh, sell that to someone or trade that with someone. They're very desirable. A lot of times when... Uh, when people know that there's going to be a special series coming out, they'll be held on to more. But, uh, it's, a, it's a good thing to do if you know a series is coming out. If you can get your hands on an uncirculated roll, grab that, put it away. In 10 years, that'll be something. Just pay attention to current trends, newly minted items, things like that. Special series, special runs. All right, on to my number one. And number one on my list of the five ways that people are losing money every day is not being aware of the silver content in U.S. coinage. Now, 1964 and previous, the half dollars, the quarters, the dimes were all 90% silver. Going forward from there, from 65 to 70, the half dollars were 40% silver. And you can still find these in circulation. You can still get them and, and change. A lot of people just aren't aware you know, they'll see a quarter and like, that looks weird. It's old, but it just looks odd. Or if you spill some on the table, you will absolutely be able to hear the difference between a clad nickel, uh, nickel copper quarter and a 90% silver quarter. And it's a beautiful sound. I love it. So educate yourself on that. And there are certain you know, special runs that will have some silver content or silver plating or, you know, things like that. But the main thing to know is you know, the early coinage can be 90% silver. That doesn't apply to nickels. Uh, that doesn't apply to any Jefferson nickels, except for the war nickels were 35% silver. That was from uh, 42 to 46, I believe. All right, if I'm wrong on that, tell me in the comments. I apologize. So that's it my list of the top five ways people are losing money every day. I hope you learned something new. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please uh, give it a like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Um, yeah, go out there and start applying these things. You will see extra value coming in before you know it. All right, so this is Michael from Pennyhaven. Happy hunting.